Okay, so uh, last video I showed off the contagion build and explained it a little bit more in depth. But I still got some questions um, regarding the mods, the clothing mods. So let me just go show you those again. So these mods here, uh, one of them is called Bully, the other one I forget what it's called. Hold on. Is it on this one? I think it's on this one. There we go. So Fortuna and Bully. Those are the main two mods that I like to use for my Contagion build so that it crits nonstop and then it crits hard when it does. Um, I've heard a couple of things that these don't actually stack. I'm not 100% sure. Well, we could just test it right now. So let's just remove this, for example. Okay. And let's just double check it. Oh, sorry. Inventory. There we go. Right, okay, so this one has Bully right now, this one has Fortuna. Okay, so technically, if I go to character, oops, sorry, if I go to stats, excuse me. Right, so this should not go up in theory. So crit chance 71 and 175 crit damage, those should not go up, or crit damage, excuse me, should not go up when I re equip Johnny's jacket. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's re equip it. Those nice. 175, right? One second. Yeah, 175. Okay, so in theory, it should not go up if those the people saying that it doesn't stack are right. So let's equip that and go check my character stats again. It does go up. Okay, so they do stack. So that is false. Um, it just went from 175 to 205. So they definitely stack. Um, that said, only one of them counted. So on the same item, having two of them does nothing. One of them if they're on different items, does stack. So different items, stack, same item, no point. So I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, I might look into redistributing that, but anyways. So now let's get into how you get these. So actually, first of all, um, the, the abilities that you need are going to be from the technical, technical ability tree, excuse me. You definitely need True Craftsman. Um, <coughs> That's pretty much all you really need honestly you need true craftsman having this uh, also so waste not want not this is for getting the mods off of the clothing that you're going to be crafting everything else is up to you tune up is fine but i'm going to show you another way to make enough money to buy the components you need so first of all i'll show you what components you need so what you do is you click on crafting you go to clothing and all you're going to craft is this here so headgear Whatever headgear you have, it should say head right here. And then outer torso. Those are the two things you craft. This one gives you bully. And this one gives you fortuna. So bully gives you plus 30% crit damage on the headgear. You can get that. One out of 20 times approximately. And then this one, outer torso, gives you fortuna, which gives you plus 15% crit chance. Um, again, one out of 20 times on the rare. These are the things you need. This is what runs out the most often. At least it does for me. Rare item components. Um, these can be upgraded using tune-up into rare item components. Or what you could do. Nine, nine. All of this I do it, by the way, at V's apartment. Okay, so right here. This is V's apartment. And I go to this specific waypoint, which is the mega building H10 atrium. And then up the stairs here. Where the cops are, Barry's apartment, um, it's a fast travel point, and then there's this drop point. You need to do a quest that gets you this item. I'm not going to go into this because then the video would really be too long. But basically, uh, this <laughs> is definitely a glitch, but it's a very good one. It's a useful one for now anyways. You need to get this Branchesi painting. It's in a quest that you can find, um, I believe, around... Approximately around this... Is it there? Hold on. Sorry. Uh, around this area here, somewhere around here, is where you find that quest. Okay, so Rancho Coronado basically is, I believe, the closest waypoint to it. Anyway, it's it's a side quest, side job that you can find that painting off of. You talk to a couple of bums, uh, they give you a briefcase, you crack it, and then you get that painting. So with that painting, you go to a drop drop box here or drop pod. Excuse me, I just name dropped the company. Drop pod i don't know what we should call it anyways you go to your items you find the painting uh right here you sell it okay now if you were to buy it back right now it's four thousand right you just made four thousand but it's four thousand to buy it back so there's no gain there what you do is you back out okay this is very important that part you back out of the pod you go back to it you don't have to 
walk back and forth you can just click r again and now it's five dollars to buy back so you buy it back you go back to your inventory you sell it again you made another four thousand and it cost you ten dollars to make eight thousand dollars so far now again you back out you press r again you buy it back etc etc you do you do that basically <clears throat> until you are a multi-millionaire um don't forget to buy it back for five dollars before leaving because otherwise you won't use the item then once you have enough Get money drive, um, just run down the stairs go to the gun store in b's apartment building complex because this guy here at second amendment i forget his name what's his name wilson yeah so he sells the components you need he sells both these and these and also even these ones if you if you need them by any chance but anyways he sells these so let's say i were to buy 50 of these right cost me 7500 obviously with the glitch that i just showed you it's very easy to get you buy them now they're gone you don't have any more so what you have to do if you want more is skip time 24 hours so again skip time 24 hours you go back and he has them again he has another 50. every 24 hours he gets 50. i'm getting a call hey wonderful it's, it's me flaming crotch man okay you know. interesting cameo um so back to the crafting so once you've done that you have the components you come here and you just craft these let's say you do like 10 of them or whatever i'm just gonna do a couple and see what happens okay let's go to inventory you go to your headgear there you go this one has it so none of them have it and then this one actually ended up having it so crit chance excuse me so fortuna is on the headgear and bully is on the um is on the up outer torso gear. So Fortuna has the crit chance and then Bully is the crit damage. Um, okay, so the headgear gives me this. Now what you do is you actually disassemble this. And if you have this perk here, waste not, want not, then after having disassembled it, you will be able to, whoops, excuse me, let's just put any other gear that has a slot. I don't know why I keep putting that one. Okay, and you will have uh, Fortuna. This is it, Fortuna, there you go. So you will have the mod pulled off of the clothing gear that you disassembled if you have that perk. That said, if you do a bunch of these and you don't get that perk, still disassemble them because you get the rare item components back. And then you can go back to crafting and you can keep crafting them. Let's say I do this one this time. I can only do two, so it's very unlikely that I just got what I needed. Um, anyway, so I didn't get what I needed. So basically you just disassemble these, etc., etc., and you continue. Um, once you do that, it's obviously useful to craft legendary clothing that is actually good. In my case, I crafted Johnny's jacket and the aviators, and then I have uh, a couple of other things like Johnny's pants, whatever. Uh, I didn't max it up because I don't need it. Um, Johnny's tank top. Anyways, you don't take damage, so honestly, you don't need armor rating because Contagion build makes it so that the game is just really easy, basically. So. Once you have all this, your character stats will go up uh, significantly in terms of crit chance and crit damage. And with this perk here, uh, let's go back to character, intelligence, quick hacking. So with the perk critical error, now those character stats will be affecting this perk and your contagion will be critting basically once out of, I don't know, four times, three times, two times even. Um, and on top of that, with plague, it'll keep spreading so it'll go from one person to the other and then if there's only two of them then they'll keep spreading it back to one another etc so it can be pretty devastating and it's basically the best way for farming because again quick hacking like contagion does not kill the enemy so it just incapacitates them and they're then they're on the ground so technically if you wanted to train rifles you could train rifles if you want to train handguns you could train handguns because you still have to walk up to them while they're incapacitated on the ground and shoot them in the face so if you wanted to train handguns it's still a good way to do it because they're down and then you walk up to them they're harmless you shoot them and you get the xp um and that's about it so yeah that's the that's the build i hope that helps i didn't go in de into detail into getting brand chasey painting if you need that again look that up just look up the painting money glitch or whatever it's called brand chasey 2021 whatever just look this quest up and figure out how to get it because once you get it you can do what i just demonstrated in the video uh, and then make sure you do all of it in v's apartment building it's just the easiest place i think to do it because the the vendor the gun vendor has these components the rare item components that you need again to craft 
the clothing gear and the clothing gear once disassembled with the waste not want not perk can give you the legendary mods the legendary clothing mods that you need which are bully for damage and fortuna for crit chance and that is about it thank you ladies and gents good day